Hey, what up, Z Clan, and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Dungeon Dragons Dark Alliance video. In this video, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough at Goblins and the, the Gate. So basically, uh, what else I'm gonna show you is and share with you is a couple of tips and tricks on how to increase uh, the chances of getting good loot. Uh, how to complete the optional side quests so you can get some extra XP and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so once you spawn in, this is your starting location. What you should know. Uh, optional quest, you need to collect 8 mugs and defeat a monster, uh, which uh, usually gives a purple or a legendary. You can actually increase the chances of getting a legendary by uh, going to the checkpoints, right? And instead of like taking a little rest, you increase rarity. And I believe there's uh, 4 or 5 checkpoints. So the idea is you do not kill that monster until you get all the checkpoints. Then you'll need to run back a little bit take him out and you might gonna get a legendary as I got one of the legendaries are my my boots uh, besides if you have some extra time you can skip all of the chests until you walk through all of the um, checkpoints to increase the rarity and then you go through all the chests so you need to run all the way back and start picking up the chests. I'm gonna show you the locations of all the chests that I found right and if you do that uh, you have a chance of getting uh, not the gray one, right, but green and above. So even have a slight chance of getting a purple out of the chest. But it is kind of time consuming, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Uh, but for the boss, it's worth it's worth to give it a try. So the first mug you will see is right here. The last mug. The last two and are kind of tricky a little bit. The last one is the most trickiest, and I'll get to it. Again. So once you get over here, uh, there's a little trick. Once you see the burning flame, you need to stand next to it and walk through uh, this cold area. If you don't get the warm buff, if you look in uh, my stamina bar, you can see the sun over there, right? If you don't have that warm buff and you go inside these icicles, you will start receiving damage and you get slowed. So. That's not something you want to do, so make sure to get the buff before you actually run into that area. Uh, by the way, once you're fighting the monster that you need to do for the side mission, uh, he jumps, so if you can lure him into the icicles, he's going to kill himself. <laughs> I think I'll plan, that, I'll plan to do that once I'll do this uh, map on a lot higher difficulty. So there's another chest over here. This chest uh, gives uh, an actual item, and uh, it's a green one. Yay! But as I said, with checkpoints, so if you increase your rarity, you have a higher chance of getting something better. Alright, so afterwards we've got some gold over here. Once we beat that area, we're gonna have our first checkpoint. Don't forget to pick up these crystals, as far as I know for now. Have in mind this game just came out, so I'm still learning it. Uh, you will need to use those gems to upgrade your gear. Uh, also, you can like uh, increase the gem rarity. Like if you're going to be upgrading your legendary gear, essentially you'll need the legendary crystals. And uh, if you have a lot of different types of crystals, you can actually use your gold to upgrade. It. By the way, I was talking a lot. I forgot that there's a trick. There's three enemies over here, and if you blow up that barrel, you'll end up killing all of three of them if you do that at the very start, not like what I just did. All right. Uh, also, a tip here for like if you're just just starting out, you're taking hits, right? Uh, there is a chest over there that gives a potion. So once you deal with all these guys, make sure to drink your potion, and you will get your potion back as soon as you uh, take the chest, right? Oh man, I'm being stupid right now. All right, so there was our first checkpoint: increased loot rarity. By the way, if I mispronounce something, I do apologize. I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I do mispronounce stuff. Some gold over here, uh, gem, second mug over here. Destroy the catapult, part of the main mission. And uh, there is a book over there. These are like more of lore stuff, as far as I know. Maybe you'll get an achievement for collecting everything. Uh, but yeah, 
once you're done with the mission, the Tom's books, you can read them at your door. That's what I've discovered so far. So there's another chest. It will give me a potion. I should have drank one. Because you see, they don't stack. So I have three of maximum. The other potions, I bought them at the vendor. If you want some more, uh, like an in-depth sort of like merchant guide video, let me know in the comments and, and I'll do that. Do that, no problem. I can ever hope so to some crystals, destroy those barrels, you'll have some more gold over there. Here's the tome that I was talking about, so pick it up. So as you know, some gold, some more gold. This chest gives you gear. My memory doesn't fail me. Yes, it does. Got one more green. Who cares about that? And then you proceed up. So once you proceed up, just turn left. Right, there's going to be another like sort of road, and there's going to be a chest. And sometimes, if you're lucky, getting sort of a it's not a lead, but it's a stronger mob. And these stronger mobs, they can, so far I've reached to uh, green and blue. Like we had the blue guy, there's going to be also a lot of greens, and they also have a chance to drop some gear. So make sure to kill those guys. So pick up the chest. I don't know which one. Ah, this one gives a potion. Boom. Here we go. So critical. Let's kill all these guys real fast. Once you kill all these guys, you'll get access to the other chest. Which you open and more of these guys will spawn in. By the way, that move that I just did, the rolling one, I bought it for gold. So once you have gold, you can buy moves and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Right? On higher level difficulty, because I did try playing on higher level difficulty, I'm going to use these barrels to blow them up because they get some really nice damage. I'll pick up that uh, crystals and the gold on my other run. So boom, there's more enemies. Clear the area. Get out of here, man. So now we can run down, pick up some more gold, and uh, get ourselves a chest. So here I would recommend to jump over the icicles if you don't want to take damage. Get the warm buff. Run through the icicles. Another sword. Gold. Turn right. Chest with uh, gear loot. Eh, another green. Not my day. Well, I didn't increase my rarity. I did a run and uh, I got more blues than greens. But it's funny that I didn't get the, any green, uh, gray types. Alright, so here we'll pick up some gold. Oh yeah, which I forgot to mention, there is going to be a point, an area, w with sort of like a secret, but it's not a big deal to discover it. And you will get uh, attribute points if you uh, interact with a statue, which I'm going to show you as well. Alright, so run through this thing. There's going to be a boss right here. Let's clear this area real fast. And there's gonna be another checkpoint once we're done with the enemies. Yep, there you go, we increase loot rarity. Go pick up the loot that we've missed here. So now tome, cash, and there you go, I get great stuff, man. <laughs> Alright, I think there's nothing else over here. Let's get through that. By the way, that's the monster I was talking about, the one you need to defeat uh, in order to do the, uh, the optional mission. And he always, like I did this run like five times, gave me a purple and, w and one legendary. So we'll leave him for later. And by the way, there's a few more chests. One chest over there, another chest over there. Have that in mind. And some gold downstairs. 
Alright, let's continue. Over right up there, there's gonna be some magical traps and a chest. So magical traps, I recommend step on them, let them kind of trigger, move back, and uh, destroy them. Otherwise, they're gonna hit you. By the way, from archers, you can block if you have a shield. Boom. All right, let's continue. Make sure to kill all the monsters, by the way, because I could actually run through them, uh, but they get XP. In the optional quest, if you do it, you also get XP, so you better do it if you want to level up quicker. All right, now we're running through this thing. Try. This thing you can call the elevator in case if uh, your elevator is gone. More mobs right now, and now we're getting to the point where uh, we're gonna have a little secret that we can do and give ourselves an attribute point. Well, I already got mine, so I won't get anything, but I'll still show you how to do it. So, at least if you missed it you can get that attribute point. So basically to increase your strength or uh, agility and so on and so forth, which I, on the dwarf character, I decided to uh, focus a little bit on strength. What am I doing there? Alright, that place is going to be loaded with magical traps, so I have that in mind. You get the warm buff from here, uh, make a throw attack. Make a throw attack to destroy the icicles because there is another chest over there. There we go, we're buffed. We have to pick this up. And chest. This one is a potion one, not loot. We can forget about it. Then we have some more gold over there. Let's pick that up. Magical traps, as they've mentioned. See, you get hit. Put that cube over here. We'll open the door. Here we go, some more gold, gems. And this is the thing that you interact with in order to get access to the attribute boats. So you collect and three mobs will appear, which you'll have to defeat. This is a potion chest. Right? So these three guys deal with them. Sometimes if you're lucky, you're not gonna get like sort of a champion mob which has a chance uh, to give you some loot drop, you know, those red guys or uh, blue guys. Then you run straight. Oh yeah, that's the boss, the optional one. You don't have to jump down there. <laughs> Alright, you run through this part. Take out the gems. There's gonna be a mug right now, so don't miss that one. There it is. Ladders to get down and through the icicles, but we're not gonna do that yet until we get all through all the checkpoints that we need. Some more gold. So make sure to check this area. Alright, bam. I'm like level 3 right now. As I said, it's like my fourth one. Oh, this guy. There's gonna be a checkpoint, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, as soon as you kill these guys. Checkpoint. Increased rarity. It's not the last one. Let's check if we missed any loot. Uh, yeah, there's a gold over there that I've missed. 
Oh, we'll kind of pick that up once we've uh, uh, picked up all the checkpoints. All right, let's continue. There's in this section. There's gonna be a. Oh wait, no, not this section. Magical traps. Watch out. By the way, if magical traps destroy the gems, you still get the gems. So you can save yourself a little bit of time over there. Once again, make sure to destroy the barrels because they might have gold. There is a mug. Let's pick it up so we don't miss it. There's gonna be a chest and some gold. This thing. Some more gem. Uh, man, crystals are gems. I keep calling them gems for some reason. Crystals, man. There you go. Crystals and some more gold over here. Pick all that up. All right, let's do this thing. We got some more gold ahead of us. Ooh, did I destroy the catapult? By the way, do not forget to destroy these things, man. If you forget, you're gonna have to run all the way back. That is, if you've killed the uh, the boss for the uh, side quest, because you don't care about that extra chance of getting the So you run through this area over here. You'll have tra uh, magical traps, chest, which give you an item. Through this thing, gems. Jump over this thing, and proceed over here. Jump, jump. Come and taste my axe. Yeah, man, these things take time to complete. <laughs> And another chest over here. Don't really have to destroy these things. Just find a way. Come on. Fine. Usually it gives me an, an option to just pick up the chest. There we go. Turn right to pick up some gold. Alright, now we're gonna have another sort of champion fight with these little sort of mages. There is gonna be another mug behind that explosive barrel. Don't forget to pick it up. As I said, they have a chance to drop the loot. Here we go, rest point. Increase rarity. This is, yes, this is the fourth one, yes, yeah, so there are five rest points. Next one is going to be the last rest point. Run through here to pick up some gold and a tome. Over here, with some gold. A book. <coughs> Alright, in order to proceed, you will need to step on these pressure plates. One more is in the icicles. I would recommend you use the throwing thing. There's another chest over there, by the way. So destroy all that stuff so it'll be easier for you to get through. Destroy this thing so you can get the gold. Get the warmth buff. 
Open the chest. There we go. Get the one buff again. Pick up the gold. Oh wait, did I jump? Oh, make sure to stand on it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we proceed a little bit more further, and this is the area where we're gonna be fighting some more mobs. Once you kill this group, there's gonna be a little stronger dude appearing, and this is gonna be our last checkpoint. There's uh, a lot of loot here, so make sure to visit all these sort of cages. Yeah, so you don't miss out on anything. And a chest on top of there, which gives a potion. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a potion. So if you get hit, and, uh, you know, you kind of like want to save up on those potions, because we're almost at the final boss fight. But on easy, these potions are awk, basically. So, nothing too hard, to be honest. Try to give me some please. Get lost, mate. What the hell? Well, that never happened to me before. <laughs> oh, better, 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 better. Coach. You get bleed on me, Die. These guys are annoying. There we go. So, this is the last checkpoint. So, from here. We need to run back to uh, the main boss. By the way, uh, let's quickly loot this place real fast. So I'll show you all the stuff you can get in this area. And then we're going to run back, which I'm going to speed run because this video is already turning out to be long. I forgot to drink my potion. So there's going to be another tome over here. Right here. Pick it up. Some gems. Destroy this thing. Do not proceed to the portal because I, I don't think you'll be able to come back. So if you jump on that portal, that's it. You won't be able to come back. The point of no return. There's another mug over here. By the way, which I forgot to mention. So we're six mugs. Okay, good. Because there's going to be another mug right over there and another mug right over there. Which I'm going to show you once we're done with the boss. So get the warp buff. And let's go kill our elite. And fingers crossed for the legendary loot. Alright, so once you've reached this location, make sure to get the warm buff. Go down. Oh, wait, go back up. My bad, if you don't want to get injured, that is. Make sure to first destroy those rocks over there with the throwing attack. Get these gems, by the way. Ooh, legendary, sweet. Now go. Ah, uh, no! Okay, whatever. We're good. Let's pick up that warmth again, real fast. Now, pick up that chest. I think it's potions. Warmth. This chest. This loot. Oh, well, blue. Nice. Some gold over here. Come and taste my axe! Alright, and some gold over there. Now, what I plan to do with this guy, once I'll increase the difficulty, because right now he's pretty easy, is lure him to the trap. So the way you can do that is kind of be close to him, right? And he's going to be ad advancing. If you're going to go too far, by the way, once he's making this, you can smash him all you want for like three seconds or so. So, boom. Once he gets closer enough, hit the barrel and get the hell out. Or he let him hit the barrel. Boom. By the way, once he does that jump, if you lure him inside those icicles, he's gonna kill himself. Actually, let's see if we can do that. Because it will be better. And this you can this trick you can use for a higher uh, level difficulty, because he's gonna be strong. I try going on a higher level difficulty, I'm able to do it, but now I'm a superhero. Though. So let's see if he's gonna do that jump. Uh, he's not gonna do that 
jump. Alright, whatever, let me just finish. I think I got the idea, right? Don't me back. thing get some damage I don't really care all right let's go back to the last checkpoint all right so we are at the last checkpoint now we're going through this portal and we're gonna fast travel by the way let's see if you can go back oh it looks like you can cool it's a little correction there smash that exploding barrel There's a prize specimen. Come on, man. I'm playing really bad. See, he dropped the uh, gear. So here we got some more gold. Destroy. That's the last of the siege. No, for the goblin captain. Then some gold over here. Then the final mug is right there. Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> And now we're gonna go up, and there's gonna be a mug number eight, the last one. So you'll need to destroy these barrels right here. There we go. Mission completos. Oops, why the hell did I do that? By the way, there's some gold over there if you want to pick up. You need to make sure you pick it up before you end the fight because uh, once you're done with the boss, that's it, you can't do anything. Pick this up. Some extra gold is always good. for legendary loot because we get two more loot once we're done with the actual run. See? One, two. One to two. Junk. Alright, and uh, that's pretty much it. So the toms and the books that you got, you can, it's like sort of lore that you can read. So once again, if you do the optional quest, it's optional, you get more XP as far as I know. It's just XP, so if you don't really want to bother about it, you can skip. 
I hope you were paying attention, because I was out there giving lessons in the four. So. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the next chapter, memorize all the stuff, and uh, make the next video. Hope you enjoy it. Some cash. Sean's key. Man, sucks that I didn't get no legendary on the video. I'll show you my gear, by the way. Thank you. Alright, then you go up to this chest, everyone should know to pick up the loot. I'm just gonna reveal all. Oh, it's legs, man. Already, I think I have legendary legs. It's lightning, pretty cool. Ooh, oh uh, no, that's not what I want. There's a set that gives damage. So I want to try it out. Teleportation circles waiting. I had one I like the, the great type, and kind of sucks. Bring me back something shiny. All right, whatever. So, my loot. Oh wait, let me increase my strength a little bit more. So this is my current loot. And what is this? I don't know. Let's go with that. Wisdom. Intelligence. That's the wisdom loot. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, that, that banana looks cool, huh? Necromancer. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. 5% damage bonus, 10% damage bonus, 35% increase rate to... Uh, at which elemental damage inflicts a condition. Alright, whatever. What is that? Oh, armor penetration. Oh, that's cool. Damage from Evelyn ignores all monster armor. <sighs> that looks promising. I've never seen this set. But anyway, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end. So once again, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. If you want to join our Discord, the link's down in the video description. Make sure to read our rules before you join because if you break the rules, you get banned. Simple as that. No return back. We're over 850 members, so we take this stuff seriously. And follow the instructions in order to get access to the chats that you want to get access to at the moment this game has one chat at the user role other games if this game grows we might gonna create a second uh, category and add some more chats for this game but anyway thanks all for watching I hope you enjoyed it you all have a good morning day and night I'll see y'all later bye from the ashes we rose into the